Hello and welcome to this bot talk tutorial. In this video we're going to talk about how to work with dictionaries and you're going to learn what the dictionaries are, how do they work, what is the difference between global, organizational and project dictionary and of course how to correct errors using dictionaries. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, what are the dictionaries? So the dictionaries um, is the tool that uh, we created at BotTalk so that you can easily correct the errors that you have uh, when converting um, text into speech. And um, before we created this tool, it was uh, rather hard to do that uh, without technical knowledge. But let's take an example. For example, we have this uh, project created and this is a German text. And um, if you click on that and take a listen, you would uh, um, hear what the problem is in this text. Tiger Woods nach Autounfall wieder zu Hause. As you can hear, um, the Tiger Woods is pronounced incorrectly. And uh, of course, you can go ahead and try to correct it right there in text. But as you can imagine, it would be tedious if uh, the Tiger Woods uh, would come up uh, in more than one text. So uh, in order for you to correct um, this um, pronunciation, uh, what you need to do is you copy that uh, two words, Tiger Woods, go into dictionaries, and in your project dictionary, you create a replacement. So the source, it's what we are replacing. So once again, we could uh, hear how it sounds originally. Tiger Woods. And what you replacement is uh, obviously what you are um, replacing this with. So let's try and be creative. Something like that. Tiger Woods. Well, that sounds already uh, much better. So from that moment on, every text that has Tiger Woods in it uh, inside of the tutorial project um, will have the correction that we just added. And uh, to prove that, let's uh, create another article. Uh, and let's wait till the bot talk has converted that. Here we go. So if you go back um, and listen to that. Noch ein Text über Tiger Woods then you will hear that we actually already corrected uh, the um, pronunciation. And you can also see the correction when you go and toggle uh, the article logs. And that's um, the replacement uh, that we visually show. So we took the um, Tiger Woods, so we took that and create, corrected it with, um, with our uh, correct version. So this is the project dictionary. From this moment on, every new article inside of this project that has Tiger Woods in it will have the correct pronunciation. For the older articles, if you want to correct them with the, the dictionary entry, you just need to resound them. Go into them, add some white space or something like that and click on the save button. After the resounding is done, then the co corrected version will be there on Botox. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, organizational dictionaries. You create an organizational dictionary by um, clicking at organization um, dictionary button, and then you choose um, the language and the text to speech provider um, for this dictionary. Once you created the organizational dictionary, every single word that is inside of this dictionary will be shared between all of your projects that are inside of this organization. Meaning that you don't have to add Tiger Woods to every single project uh, in the dictionaries, uh, but rather you can take this uh, entry and just add it into the organizational dictionary. So every single project inside that will know about this corrected version. Uh, in order to make sure that it still works, let's delete our project um, dictionary uh, entry. Here you go. So we, we now have only the organizational uh, entry. But this organizational entry should apply to all of the projects inside of my organization. Yeah, let's just create another project, right? So um, tutorial project number two. 
Um, it's going to be um, German again. It's going to be a wave net. Uh, let's, let's take another one. Let's take a D. And yeah, uh, and let's create the new project. So it's a completely new project. So uh, of course, we need to add this project to our organization. So we'll go to the configure this project. And here at the bottom, we have a selection of the organization. And now, boom, this project is added um, to the organization, meaning that everything that is inside of the organizational dictionary will be applied here. Let's check it. So let's create um, uh, the new article right here. And uh, here you go. And it's ready. And let's take a listen. Tiger Woods nach Autounfall wieder nach Hause gekommen. Here we go. So you can hear uh, that it made that replacement. And we can actually check it. So if, if you toggle all the article log records, then you can see the uh, changes that has been made. So we talked about the um, project uh, dictionaries that apply to the, um, uh, to the um, project. Then we talked about organizational dictionary, which every project in your organization share. And then, of course, there is a, a global Botox dictionary. And in this um, Botox dictionary, there are things that we from Botox uh, um, add. Uh, and uh, uh, once uh, this, uh, um, um, this word kind of uh, is inside of your article, it will be automatically replaced. And let's take AstraZeneca, for example, for um, uh, uh, and here it sounds like that. AstraZeneca. Zeneke. AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca is a correct pronunciation. Uh, so if you go ahead and, uh, for example, create something, a new um, article where this word um, Uh, is there so let's check it so uh, let's toggle uh, the article logs and here we go Botox replace AstraZeneca and the reason why uh, we replaced it is because it's in our global uh, German dictionary so everything that is in German and in WaveNet um, so every project inside of a platform um, in every organization will have this replacement and let's take a listen. AstraZeneca is an imp. And yeah, and um, if you think, for example, that this is something that mm, you don't want to, um, to have in your dictionary, so it is uh, uh, quite uh, quite easy to to change that. So you go ahead and say, okay, uh, Botox. I'm not I'm not satisfied with this um, correction that you made. It's quite easy. You just go ahead and change it in your dictionary. So you add a replacement and say, okay, in our organization, in every um, project in our organization, AstraZeneca will sound like something like something like that. I don't know. AstraZeneca. With two E's in and two C's, well, just just speculating there, right? So and after you add it, uh, let's go back to the project and resound this article and let's see which correction um, is going to um, to be there. And um, here we go, it is ready. So uh, let's check it again. So those are all the records. So this uh, this was the first replacement. Uh, from a um, couple of minutes ago and here's the second replacement with uh, two E's and two, uh, and two C's. So, uh, so uh, the final version uh, is uh, that we actually replaced uh, it with your organizational dictionary um, entry and yeah uh, and that is um, how dictionary works so um, it is always a cascade um, your project um, will override something that is in your organization. Your organization will override something that comes from the global dictionary. Um, that's it for today. Um, thanks for uh, joining and um, we hear each other sometime soon.